Madam President, I have before me two Bahamas Customs Declarations forms submitted and stamped with regard to vehicles brought in by Nassau Motor Company, where the date of arrival of vehicles are the 24th of the 5th, and the duty was paid on the 27th of the 10th, Madam President, the day after, and the lower rate of duty was paid. Now, Madam President, I don't necessarily have a problem with the fact that the lower rate of duty was paid. If, Madam President, every single Bahamian whose car was brought in on or around the time of the 24th were allowed to pay the same reduced rate. I don't come in this place to talk. Madam President, and so I would expect when the government gets up that they would say that in this particular case that a policy decision was made, although it was not communicated to the general public, that they had decided that they would allow all Bahamians whose cars were on the dock when this change was made to the Stamp Act to affect their cars, that all Bahamians paid this lower rate of duty. And if they did not, Madam President, the Bahamian people deserve an explanation as to why one particular car company was able to pay the reduced rate. And secondly, if it was not their policy to explain to the Bahamian people who have paid these monies when and where they're going to get their monies back, Madam President. Somebody must speak for this. Someone must be held responsible for this, Madam President. This is an egregious offense, Madam President, to the Stamp Act, to a legal um, 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 document, an amendment that was made, and I would hope, Madam President, there is a reasonable explanation for this.